which we are well aware of. I have gone through the same thing last year. So we will uh, go through this process and uh, I hope to uh, have my father back home very quickly. Because, uh, I, I know what has to be done through the legal process. And this is how it works out, unfortunately, after police custody of, for investigation, this sort of judicial custody follows. Even though I don't see any merit in the judicial custody, particularly for events which apparently happened 11 years ago, and they're still nowhere even close to filing a charge. And I'm sure people will uh, contrast the various judicial pronouncements which has come out today. And I reiterate once again that both the air cell maxes and the INX case are non cases, and they will never. Uh, see the light of day they'll never be i don't think proper charge sheets will ever be framed and we'll never have trials but uh, for political reasons we have to go through this process where uh, vehement critics of the government will be targeted and uh, we will deal with it and, uh, will you be moving the high court i think i think you should contrast there have been multiple orders today so you must contrast i mean they are both about the fibb and there is a, a trial court which has seen voluminous documents who just come out with a ruling. I respect the Supreme Court. I think people must independently must contrast it. They must also contrast it with the judgment of Justice R.S. Garg, which who gave in, a, in the similar matter concerning me on the 23rd of March last year. So all these judgments, I know there are contradictions within the various rulings, but once people read it, they will know what's happening. And I still maintain these are non-cases. There will never be a charge sheet. If they actually have any evidence, they would have filed a charge.